I wonder how Miyazuki is going to get out of this one. Like, how is the creature going to defeat itself? Like, is it just gonna be scared by his presence again, or is it gonna accidentally hit itself on the head? So many questions of how he might defeat it. Or is one of the executives gonna come out of nowhere and be like, Oh, this monster is causing trouble. I better defeat it quickly. Absurd Accusation, Part 1. Um, huh? I got a good view of it from the sky. But how in the world did Miyazuki take down that beast? Oh. Incredible! That magical beast couldn't lay a finger on him. Bacana. That magical beast got blown away the moment it charged at him. Wait, did he defeat that beast with just his aura? It might look that way, but that magical beast simply charged too fast and basically self-destructed. <laughs> what does that mean? Creatures can somehow accidentally self-destruct? Like, what does that even mean? Did it just explode as soon as it hit something? Like, I'm really not understanding how does a creature self-destruct. Maybe if it hit its head against a giant rock or maybe into a tree, impaling itself. That is kind of understandable. But what is self-destructing? But was it really a coincidence that it happened so perfectly? <laughs> Only Mizuki could fight like that. Demon Lord Rimuru is strong. But if Miyazuki, the hero, joined Tempest, we'd be unstoppable. <laughs> Miyazuki protecting Great Rimaru? Wow, Tempest would be in safe hands forever. <laughs> Man, they're talking about me being protected. Well, it's probably for the best that he's on our side, rather than being an enemy. <laughs> anyway... It's all good since the magical beast been dealt with. Hmm. Hmm. So that's Miyazuki the hero, huh? <laughs> wow! They gave me so many gifts for taking down that magical beast. Mm. I received gifts from other places before, but never as much as what the people of Tempest are gifting me. I'll share it with my party later. Phew! I wish I could walk around Tempest a little more, but with the way things are going, I probably won't even be able to visit a single shop without anyone noticing me. Uh... It's a pity since there are so many places I wanted to go. I especially wanted to go check out that hot spring. Man, I guess I ought to just take it easy at the inn. Jeez! Why is my skill so hard to control? And why are the effects so needlessly dramatic? I wish I could tone it down a little. Huh? <clears throat> it's so annoying seeing everyone all excited about the festival. I was expecting way more since it's Tempest. What a thing to complain about. Seeing everyone celebrate putting on big celebration parties for the festival and you're here being like I expected more from Tempest like what? <laughs> what did you want from them? Like put on even bigger parties or have the buildings be giant skyscrapers? I don't know what he's expecting <laughs> Yeah 
I was expecting some real powerhouses at the battle tournament, but they're all nothing but a bunch of wusses. Eh? Ugh, a couple of punks. So that, uh. Right, I'd easily win that tournament, if only I had registered. I could totally take down that rumored hero or whatever. Haha, <laughs> -ha, you sure like to blow your own horn, huh? You've had way too much to drink, man. Well, I guess that goes for me too. Ah ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. No doubt. Man, they're getting way too drunk. It's probably best not to get involved with those guys. They're not even causing any trouble, so why does he have to get involved? Yeah, they're being rowdy at their table. You know, just being loud at your table isn't illegal unless the restaurant or bar is telling them to leave and they refuse to leave. Oi, oi. Hey, you there. What you looking at? Huh? huh? What? Me? <laughs> You're annoying me with that grin of yours. You've got me in a bad mood now. Let me punch you. I wasn't grinning. In fact, you were laughing a second ago. This is not good. It's real bad. <laughs> Don't get so upset now. If you punch me, the hero, then everyone here is going to... Kuro? Shut the hell up. Huh? Seriously, he refuses to even listen. Like, see, that is the thing about this skill. It'd be super annoying. It's like you just can't live your life. You're always going to get in random battles that you never want to. Yep, just a couple of ruffians. But yeah, this skill just seems like it'd be annoying to have. Like, just forever getting into fights, getting more fame when you just don't want fame at the moment. Like, I can just imagine the peak of this skill is being like, okay, I want some fame right now, so give me an opportunity to make fame, so make a creature appear, or make someone act up so I can, like, put them in their place, and then not even actually have to fight them. But this skill is just, like, activating on its own. I don't know if he ever gets control of this skill. But, if he doesn't, this is just one hell of a life to live. It's just, it seems like a useful skill for sure, but... <laughs> just the way how he doesn't have control of it. I wonder who would even teach him how to use this skill, if no one else in the world even has that skill. Can't escape from this, part one. Damn it, you! Stop running around like a mouse! How about you stop chasing me then? As if I would. I told you, I just need to hit you once. Stay still! Gah! I can't get through to him. I've got to come up with a way to get out of this. Wait, is that Miyazuki the hero? Oh no! Those thugs are ganging up on Miyazuki! <laughs> so what he said is actually coming true. The people are going to team up against the thugs. A tourist spotted me! Oh, this is just great. I don't really care about what happens to my reputation as a hero, but now I've got to fight these guys. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> What a bunch of idiots! Don't they know that they're messing with a real hero? That's not. Yeah, you can say that again. Go on, Miyazuki. Knock him out with one swing. Huh? Come on! Can't you tell I don't want to fight? <clears throat> hmm, you're pretty popular around here, huh? <clears throat> but a scaredy cat like you could never take us down. What's that sword for, anyway? Is it a fashion statement? <laughs> it's... I'm not gonna draw my sword. 
Huh? What do you mean? I see! Mizuki the hero is saying that he doesn't need a sword to take down you thugs. So he's showing kindness to them. That's truly the margin of a strong man. What? How dare you undermine us? That's not what I meant. I'm just trying my best to find a way out of this mess. If Miyazuki pulls out his sword, you guys are toast. Just give up already and go away. Shut up! Don't stick your heads in. Eek! I've never been humiliated like this before. Miyazuki, was it? I've heard that annoying name somewhere. I was gonna punch you once, but now I'm not holding back. You'll pay for this humiliation. <laughs> oh no, oh no! He's totally enraged now. <sighs> After I totally beat you to a pulp, I'm gonna make everyone else pay for it too. Heh, <laughs> I defy you to do it. Yeah, this sounds like it's gonna be a Tempest incident more than just a Miyazuki thing. So I feel like one of the executives is going to step in because if they were to hear that, they'd be like, Sir, what is that about threatening our citizens and tourists? Kuno? This is the guy who's been running around this whole time. Brace yourself, because I'm going to obliterate you right now. Oh, so I feel like this is where Gale is going to step in because a we saw in the last cutscene, Gale was like looking at Miyazuki, or I don't know if he was stalking Miyazuki as well. So yeah, Gale may just see this happening and is like, Stop! You're causing too much trouble. Unfortunately, the game decided to crash again. God, I don't know if I hate Sly the game or if I just hate my phone. It's one of the two. Now, my phone is old, but not that old. It's just an iPhone 11. But this game is so intensive. I don't know, because of the 3D models, the assets, something, that it's just very hard for my phone to run. Miyazuki, part one. <clears throat> Ugh, damn it. My punches won't land. <clears throat> That's because you keep getting in the way when I try to attack. <clears throat> Don't be stupid. You're the one tripping everywhere and missing your hits. <clears throat> so now, do you understand? I really have no intention of fighting you guys. Oi, <clears throat> oi. Tisk! How dare you toy with us this whole time? Let's retreat for now. <laughs> sure, but we'll knock the hell out of you next time. So don't you forget. Phew! That was close. Wow, a couple of guys that got away that didn't just end up fearing Miyazuki or is like, Ugh, this guy's actually pretty strong. I guess I'll respect him. Or like him just because he is strong. <laughs> Woo! Mizuki the hero drove those thugs away. <laughs> Whoa! When did all these people gather? Also, is Rimuru still watching this? <laughs> Thank you, Mizuki. We had our hands full with those guys harassing everyone. So yeah, I guess they were causing trouble, even though no one said anything. Everyone just gathered around Miyazuki, literally as he started talking to them, or as soon as they started causing trouble for him. And they were like, alright, take those guys down, even though they weren't complaining before. <laughs> Is that so? Well... I'm glad to have been of help. <laughs> but man, heroes sure are something. I never knew someone could fight like that. 
by running away. And plus, he wasn't even fighting them. They were technically just hitting themselves because they were drunkenly running around and accidentally hitting each other whenever both tried to fight him. <laughs> ha ha ha. Yeah, I want to avoid unnecessary conflicts, you see. <gasps> oh no! More and more people are gathering. It's going to take some time to get out of this mess. Excuse me, excuse me. Are you Mizuki the hero? Flower peddling child. This does not even look like a child. It looks like they just shrank an adult model down. And are trying to put this off as a child. Like the only child models I have ever seen are the like five kids. Like Kenya, Chloe, Alice... Yeah, those are the only child models. This is not a child model. Her arms look a little too big. And her body proportions are a little weird. Uh... Hmm. Yeah. Can I help you? Those guys you just drove off. They said some horrible things to my mom. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> That she's like crying, being like, oh, they said horrible things about my mom. I guess it does make sense for a child, but still. It's like, it's weird that she brings this up to a random adult. <laughs> so, um, thanks for teaching them a lesson. I wanted you to have this. Ooh. Wow, what a beautiful flower. Please, give my best wishes to your mother. Sure. Whoa! Miyazuki! Miyazuki! Or is it supposed to be... ma zu yu ki ma sa yu ki Like, I don't know if, what they're trying to do here, like, splitting up this name. Like, instead of just being, like, M-A-S-A-Y... U K I Miyazuki They're doing it like by twos Like this is just kind of strange to me <laughs> Miyazuki Miyazuki Yikes This is bad hmm? He beat me to it That Miyazuki the hero he drove off those thugs without laying a finger on them. <laughs> I kind of find this hilarious. Because Gale in that armor is kind of cute looking. Like, it's weird to say, but... Like, the armor seems a little big on him. Like, blocking his entire face and all of that. But either a couple of possibilities happened here. Either Geld was still following Miyazuki and saw the thugs causing trouble, and so he ran home to put on his armor just to fight those thugs. And then as soon as he comes back, he sees the problems already dealt with. Or Geld saw his opportunity to be a hero and deal with those thugs. And so once again, he goes, tries to go get his armor. And is disappointed that he can't be a hero, but it's all dressed up like this. Or Gale was already dressed like this, just following around Miyazuki. And I guess was going to do something, but I don't know what took him so long to get there. But yeah, it is just a cute little idea that it's like he wanted to stop those thugs, but he just wanted to get dressed in his armor before dealing with them. Even though he could totally take on the thugs without his armor. Hmm. It is indeed the greatest way to win a fight. But to actually do it in combat is extremely difficult. Hmm. But Mizuki did it like it was nothing. Boy, he sure is a man of mystery. Hmm. hmm. Gailed. A magical beast just appeared from the forest. 
Can I ask you to handle it? Shorts? Of course. No problem. <coughs> so, another magical beast trying to disrupt the peace has appeared, huh? Like Soy said, there's definitely more magical beasts approaching Tempest than usual. Perhaps they're being attracted to all the celebrations of the opening festival. Or could they be deliberately targeting the tourist? Koi. Whatever the case, we must not let fear cross the minds of the people. It's kind of weird. Like they're hyping up this fight between Gild and Miyazuki quite a bit. Like considering that's the main event of the festival slash tournament arc. And so they're focusing on these two fighters, Miyazuki and Gild. But it's so weird how like Gild only gets a tiny bit of focus while Miyazuki is getting the most focus. Like so far it feels pretty skewed that Gild has like 25% of the event while Miyazuki has 75% of this event. Also, this event has felt pretty short. Like, I guess because I'm not having as much commentary to say since I'm not caught up on the anime. And see what exactly is going on. But so far, it doesn't feel like there's a lot of references to the anime episodes that I really need to be filled in on, since I already saw his introductory episode. Unenthusiastic Opponent, Part 1 uh... Phew, I'm so tired. I ended up shaking hands and signing autographs for everyone. I feel like they see me as some sort of celebrity. I mean, that's what a hero is. Or at least what it seems to be in that world. Eh? I can't believe the sun's already down. I better head back to the inn. At the end of the day, I hardly got to enjoy all the places that Tempest has to offer. I really want to visit all those spots that resemble Japan. Come on, can't you see that I'm begging ya? Just put it on my tab, and I'll pay you another time. Hiccups. <sighs> but you drink so much, I can't let you just leave without paying. <laughs> huh? You got a problem? <clears throat> I've been fuming ever since that incident earlier, so you better listen while I'm still being nice to you. <laughs> Eek! Hehe, <laughs> <laughs> take it easy, okay? After all, we don't want to draw the attention of that demon lord and all his lackeys. <laughs> Damn, it's those thugs from earlier. I can't believe they're still in town. So they're drunker. And acting worse than before. And that guy behind them. Could he be their boss? <laughs> if they spot me here. They're definitely going to try and pick a fight. I'm sorry for the owner of this joint. But I'd better leave discreetly. <laughs> oh, Mizuki. What are you doing here? <laughs> Eek! <laughs> huh? Miyazuki's here. Doste. Is this one of those situations again where I have to sort out the mess? Can't I at least wait until the Tempest guards arrive? Shumanai. Please, there's other customers around as well. <coughs> Shut up! You want to get hurt or something? Gah! 
They've drawn their weapons. I really don't feel like it. But I guess I got no choice but to intervene. <laughs> Come on. Haven't you had enough yet? Nanda. Huh? Oh. You're that guy from earlier. Nandesu? Boss. It's the guy. The one who tried to humiliate us. Nanda? Yeah. So you're the wuss who kept running away, huh? You guys really lost to this dude. <sighs> he moved so swiftly that the two of us couldn't land a single hit on him. <sighs> what are you? A bunch of idiots? How dare you guys ruin our reputation? <sighs> Eek! I'm sorry! <sighs> Get the hell out of this tavern unless you want to embarrass yourselves again. Man, he's actually being assertive for once. Oi, oi. Right back at you, kid. You better get going before you end up embarrassing yourself. <laughs> We're fully equipped this time. You won't be able to evade us like earlier. It's really not looking good. I just hope I can buy myself enough time. <laughs> this one's for humiliating us. Whoa, that was close. Tisk, he dodged it. Huh? Wow, he evaded the attack and made that thug crash into a pile of boxes. I bet Mizuki the hero calculated that move. Damn it, how dare he make a mockery out of us. Good, my skill is still working. But I know this luck won't last forever. You arrogant little. Hey, hurry up and surround him. Heh, <laughs> I guess it was good while it lasted. <laughs> well done for holding on, Miyazuki the hero. Huh? Oh, you're... Hi? Gailed? Wow, even these tourist ruffians know Gales. So I guess they do know about the executives and most of their names. I was watching you from behind the scenes. I want to thank you for protecting Tempest and its people. No, it was nothing. Don't be so modest. I wasn't sure earlier, but you've really proven yourself to be a hero. This is bad, boss. One of the higher-ups of Tempest is here. <coughs> and even if we were able to escape, we wouldn't make it in one piece. <coughs> Alright, listen up. I don't care what you have to do. We're gonna run from them even if it kills us. Uh. As if I let you go free. Right? Mizuki the hero? Huh? You want me to deal with them? Well, I guess I can manage them as long as Gale's beside me. <laughs> sure, I'll show you guys why they call me Lightspeed. Well, I'm glad they both finally get to interact with each other. I do wonder, in the anime episode where they have to battle, are they going to act like they don't know each other, even though this is officially the first time they're meeting? I do wonder, like, how often are the anime staff, the game staff, like, able to coordinate? trying to think uh, I guess her attacking three times because I don't know if the like game staff are reading the light novels so that's how they know what's gonna happen next or if they're like able to watch the anime stuff so that's how they're able to make like events around the characters they need. I mean, I guess it could be just as easily 
Like them reading the light novels, but I don't think the light novels have illustrations of like what the characters look like. Like I think that's mostly the anime's job. Because I'm pretty sure like these are all colors that are in the anime episodes and stuff like that. So it's a little weird to think about. Because, yeah, just these guys are prepared months in advance about what the next event is going to be, considering they release it side by side when the characters are, like, due for those anime episodes in the season. Considering, like, this event was put out probably a few days after, like, his debut episode. Hero's Humility. Eek! There's no way we're gonna be able to escape from one of the executives. This guy's strong! He took most of them down in a flash! Okay, these thugs should finally give up now. No. These sort of thugs will do anything to avoid surrendering. Which means they're probably gonna play some dirty trick on us. Tsk! I guess it's come to this now. What's going on? Why is this child out here? Child, you're supposed to be at home, it's dark. <laughs> Holding the kid hostage should buy us some time from those do-gooders. I knew it! Not so fast! <gasps> wow! Mizuki! What? How did you know that I was gonna... Oi. I can read you crooks like a book. <laughs> Damn it! Conscious. Well done, Miyazuki the hero. Whoa! Bacana. Did you see that just now? Mizuki foresaw the child being taken as a hostage. <laughs> Not only can he fight, but he protects. No wonder he's a hero. Mm. Thank you, Mizuki the hero. Mm. That's for giving me the flower. I'm glad you're safe. Miyazuki! Miyazuki! Mm. We've detained all the thugs now. Just know that you guys will be punished accordingly. <sighs> Oof. No. Huh? Gailed? I came here because I heard a ruckus. But why are you here? Oh. There were some roughnecks causing a disturbance, so I detained them with Miyazuki the hero. Ah. Oh, I see. Good work. Wait, Miyazuki helped? Hi. Yes, they tried to take a child hostage, but thanks to Miyazuki's quick thinking, their attempts failed. <laughs> wow, that's impressive, Miyazuki. Huh? Wait, so you were also curious about Miyazuki, Gailed? I thought I ought to at least find out what kind of person he was. I did get to see him fight, but I couldn't figure out what exactly he was doing. I'm not surprised. He sure is a mysterious hero. Hmm. Yes, after all, every trouble he encounters seems to get solved purely by chance. Huh. But one thing's for sure. He has the kindness to reach out to those in need. Oi. I guess that's why they call him a hero. Ah. Yeah. I feel the same. There's just something about Miyazuki that seems heroic. Arigato. Thank you so much for saving my child. I don't know how I could possibly repay you. Hey. Don't worry about that. I already got this pretty flower from your child.
You're the best, Miyazuki! Ha ha ha! Man, you've got me blushing. Miyazuki! Miyazuki! What exactly defines a hero? I've got some vague idea, but... But perhaps... Mizuki is really someone you can call a hero. Alright, interesting. Yep, I guess that was the prelude to the final battle at the Colosseum. Man, at first, they really took me for a loop with this one. Because I really thought they were doing a flashback. Like they were in the final battle, about to fight, and then boom. Like, we're here before those events. But no, that was just all in Rimuru's head and everything else did actually happen. Yeah, I just want to see real quickly. Give me one second. Alright, I was just looking for this. Since we did get to see this picture in the event, I just wanted to get a good look at it. You get to see a bit of it during the menu. But yeah, it's a nice picture seeing Rimaru in his, I don't know, king outfit? Royalty outfit? It is a really cool look for Rimaru. And then you see Miyazuki, which, he, I mean, he looks all right in like his 2D form. But yeah, I just wanted to show that real quickly since the event didn't show it itself. But overall, I thought that was a pretty good event. We will have to continue this next time when the Predator battle comes out. But yeah, that was a little fun side adventure, seeing a bit of Miyazuki, a bit of Gale, and seeing their personalities. I feel like it really wasn't that much different than what we've already seen about him that he is a good hero but his powers are mostly just luck based and that it helps him gain fortune or fame aside from that not much to say the event really wasn't that funny I did like to see a little bit more of Gale instead of just seeing him in the background and Rimuru was also in the background of the event just observing, being like, Man, what is Miyazuki's power? Or like, he's such a good guy, but I still don't know how he fights. But yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed Slime Isekai Memories, Demon Lord's Capital, and the Lightspeed Hero. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias, like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLive, my TikTok, my Kick, Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion. Make sure to check out my second YouTube channel, and like and comment on all my videos, and even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do, or my streams, videos, or anything else. But yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.